Hey, hey guys, this is the Spectrum here. This is my first video on my YouTube channel. Uh, and hopefully you guys can hear me okay because I don't have the medium on connected to the GoPro. In today's video, we're gonna start doing some uh, POV street photography. I'm gonna be vlogging with my GoPro Hero 9 uh, attached to the, this uh, chest mount so you guys can see what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm basically at the city here and I'm, and I'm gonna be looking for some great shots. So thanks for being here. Uh, if you do like this video, please consider subscribing and also hit the like button because that's going to help me a lot to make this channel grow. So, okay, let's get into it and see how it goes. I like this, uh, this place right here to start taking photos. I'm going to be using a very ace camera equipment for my photos because that's what I have right now. I'm going to be using this camera right here, which is a... Uh, Canon Rebel T6 and the lens that I'm using is pretty much a gate lens which is the 75 to 300 millimeters hopefully I can get this on my camera real quick all right so I am actually surprised with the results that I can get out of this lens because even though like I said it's like a it's like a kit lens it is it's not the camera it's not the lens it's that photographer <laughs> so Hopefully we can get some amazing shots today and we're gonna start right here. Something that I would like to mention is that recently I've been so obsessed with the composition of my photos. I really do have a hard obsession of trying to make my photos look so symmetric. So we can start with this first shot here. There we go. So we're gonna go up here and see if I can get a photo from like a higher position. Yep, I like it. And by the way, I'm sorry guys if you do see that I'm taking too much time to take my photos. to take my time when it comes to framing the photo I love it when it's like perfectly centered and when it looks so symmetric so that's what I'm that's what I always take my time to try to get the right shot and the perfect the perfect view out of the photo a telephoto lens so it is kind of like difficult to take the photo because everything is gonna look so close there we go all right so I don't want to stay here forever of course uh, today we're gonna be taking a lot of photos of you know kind of, uh, stuff like buildings and stuff like that so um boom like it. I have I have a really, like I said, a really hard obsession with my composition lately. And I, and, and I love when everything looks like so perfectly framed. <laughs> so I'm sorry for that obsession. But I'm pretty sure those photos are going to look so great today. Uh, if you see, I, I don't think that you guys can see it actually in the in the video but there's a building right there which is like under construction and i like those type of and i like this type of photo so i'm gonna be trying to take a picture of that building uh all right let's see here if we can get it doesn't look bad at all and i know uh probably you guys might be wondering why am i shooting a ratio 16 by 9 and the reason why is because uh i love when 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 i'm able to when when i finally edit the photo um i love it when i can see it full screen in my in my cell phone so i like like when i when i'm able to see it this way that's basically the only reason why i'm shooting 16 by 9 ratio 
there's someone coming right here. Let's see if I can get a in the frame. I'm not sure if it's going to look that good though, but... It is actually, guys, uh, kind of dangerous what I'm doing right now because <laughs> it is a little bit dangerous. I am just walking around here with my camera in my hand and this is not like the safest area in the city, but I am not going to be living my life worried about the things that are not happening right now. So um, I just want to get the shot, you know. Uh, let's see. I like this one here. Here yep. I like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep walking uh, that way, trying to find more buildings and stuff like that because this place from here all the way to like maybe a kilometer ahead, there is nothing like that interesting that I could take photos of. So um, I'm just gonna keep walking and then I'm gonna keep recording. I like that one. There we go. Yeah, I like it. This is such a great spot to try to take this part of the, of the building right here. Like I said, I'm looking for some architecture photography and, you know, like those type of buildings photography and stuff like that. So I like this one. I am not sure though if you guys are going to be able to see it in the in this in the in the camera screen because it's kind of cloudy today so i'm actually i'm actually hoping that the gopro is going to be it's not going to be doing those change of iso and we are looking stuff because the weather is not like that cool for taking video today but i mean we're gonna try to do our best all right so i'm sorry guys i just realized i was not using the stabilization out of the gopro so it was looking freaking horrible but I, but I just activated so now it's going to be looking smoother so let's continue to try to take in the photos here i like this one wow that one looks that one looks so good i was actually going to bring my medium mod with the gopro but that way if uh if it starts to rain my gopro is gonna is gonna die so that's why i don't have the medium mod with me right now i just decided to bring the gopro with the normal uh setup that way if, if it starts raining then i'm not gonna have any problem because the gopro is already uh waterproof just like that So I was just going to say there is a lot of construct, uh, buildings are under construction right now in the city uh, and I really love that, those shots, I love, I love how it looks. Uh, so that's kind of like also what I'm looking for today. I love this uh, spots like here where the building is like right, right in front of the middle of nowhere where I can just get the building center in the photo and then everything else is going to look like is sitting there in nowhere let's see how it looks there we go let's try to take this one right here this is what i was talking about before i am looking for this type of shots where the buildings are under construction so this looks for me i mean maybe for you guys it doesn't look like that incredible but for me it's exactly the type of shots that i'm looking today looks so sick let's see boom 
there we go let me know what you guys think about these photos down here in the comment section uh any constructive comments as well are welcome and i was actually thinking that there is a chance i'm gonna be kicked out of here because this is like a residential area and i'm not sure if i am able to be taking photos here but still i'll keep doing it i do have a wider lens in my backpack which is also a kit lens but i when it comes to this type of shots where i have to use like a wide angle lens i rather just pull out my cell phone out of my pocket and taking the photo just give me a second i'm trying to get the perfect shot here and there we go there's a lot of people out there doing street photography with their cell phones and it looks dope it looks so cool actually i just saw like a doorman right there and i'm gonna try to see if i can get it into this shot you guys are not gonna see my screen because i am gonna be using the visor of my camera so give me one second i'm gonna try to get the shot I've actually never been in this part of the city uh, I always walk over the main boulevard I love when buildings have this type of uh, like bluish windows because of along with the editing style that I'm using right now the blue color of the windows look so incredible i'm gonna try to take a photo here in the middle of the road hopefully i don't get run over uh, let's see here i think it actually looks cool uh I think I am actually doing a mistake guys, I am not shooting at the sweet point out of this lens. Like I said, this is a very base lens. Uh, so at 75 millimeters, the aperture of this lens is 4. And if I go all the way to 300, the aperture of this lens is 5.6. So as you guys can see, it's not a very high performance lens. Still. We can get some very cool results out of this lens and uh, I'm pretty sure we can get a, a positive result today. Instead of just pulling down my backpack, I, what I do is that I just go ahead and pull up my cell phone because it looks so cool with the, with the wide lens. There we go. Bam, that looks incredible. This one right here, guys, is gonna look so cool. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. So let's see, I'm gonna try to move a little bit to this side and try to get it right in the center. And I know guys, I know, I understand I take forever to take my photos. But like I said, I, I always look to every single angle to make sure everything is like perfectly centered. There we go. Pero con una consulta, ¿Sí? no sé si a qué le está tomando fotos. A los edificios. Es que acá no está permitido, caballero. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Por qué? Así es, ya no está permitida esta área. Entonces, que nosotros nos contrataron para evitar eso. Por, ah, en por serio. Mismo. Exactamente. Ah, Ajá, pues sí, solo ya. son fotos así, mire. En fin, no se ve nadie ni nada. Sí, pero por lo mismo que le digo yo, ya todos los residentes aquí ya no, no les gusta eso. ¿verdad? Ah, sí, pues. Ajá, porque van a pensar mal y Ajá. mejor evitarlo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, está bien. Ajá. Bueno, voy a ir para allá. Por favor, para... disculpe. No te da pena, feliz día. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I thought. As I was saying before, guys, it is not allowed to be taking photos here. There is a lot of security here. Um, but if you go to like the main boulevard up there, like 500 meters to the other side, uh, it is a little bit more dangerous. And 
this security guard right here was telling me that uh, people of this uh, apartment complexes they have requested security to not allow any photographers to be taking photos even if it's just a building but that's what he was explaining to me we are not allowed to be taking photos here i am not sure for how much time am i going to be able to keep doing this today because i don't know if, if you guys can see it in the sky but it's like i said before it's very cloudy and it looks like it's just about to rain and uh of course my camera is not prepared for a single drop of water this right here guys is exactly what i was saying before i love when it's cloudy because I'm gonna try to put in the half of the screen the building and then the other half of the screen nothing there we go you see that's the type of minimalism that I'm looking for at least to me that looks so cool I like it I don't know why but I like it uh, I think this one is gonna look so cool as well I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get this light as a foreground and then the building on focus and then that should look so cool there we go wow i like it i'm always looking to find like the windows on the buildings and places where i can get the photo perfectly perfectly framed because it looks actually so minimalistic and that's kind of like what I'm into right now like I said I am I've been also experiencing some portrait photography but this is more likely what I like you see this the building right there um, I'm pretty sure that one is gonna look so cool as well because the windows are like blue and with the type of editing that I'm using right now I'm pretty sure it's gonna look so cool so I'm gonna try to get a shot of that building and you guys give me your opinion even though this is like a very basic and cheap lens here we go let's try to take some photos of people here walking by there's a lot of people back there i don't know if you guys can see it in the video i'm gonna try to take a photo here and use some of the people that is walk walking here as a foreground That one looks cool. Hopefully you guys can see that there is a lot of people here today. September is here in Guatemala. Like uh, the Independence Month. And uh, you're going to see a lot of flags like that one right there i kind of like this shot right here hopefully this kid does not think that i'm taking a photo of him because i'm i don't want to get into troubles kid if you can just move away a little bit that'll be great i'm actually i'm actually just trying to get a photo of the person that is working at the gas station right there now let's see Anyway, if, if someone tried to say something, I'm just going to show the picture. I am not taking photos of the kid. Here we go. I like it. Oh my god, when the buildings are like so far away, it is so hard to get him into focus. So hopefully that hopefully that looks good. I 
wonder how this sculpture will look in, a, in the frame. Let me try to take a photo of that sculpture right there. It actually looks cool. I like it. Let's see. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure this one is luck is, is gonna look so cool. There you go. I like it. This one is gonna look better. I like this angle more. <laughs> it looks so cool. Te voy a tomar una más cerca, oíste? ¿Tenés WhatsApp o algo para que te las mande? There is one right there. I'm going to use the visor so you guys are not going to see what I'm doing. But this one is going to look so cool. I like it. Where are you, Where are you kid? There you go. Please stay there, stay there. There we go. That one looks so sick. I like it. I'm gonna try to take one more because there's another kit right there. Wow, I do like it. There's a dog there playing in the water. I'm gonna try to take a photo. <laughs> that looks so cool. I like it. I'm gonna try to take another one because now it's on all the way on the other side. There it comes. Come on, good boy. I still have quite a few beautiful shots. Oh, I didn't see there's a fireman right there. Let's try to take a photo. 
There we go. There's a lot of people there. And I know you guys can't see anything of what I'm doing right now because I'm just in the desert. But that way I but that way I can have a better idea of what I'm doing. Because the screen of this camera is not that bright. So that's why I'm using the visor instead of the screen. <laughs> it looks so cool. Let's see if I can get a shot on this side of the truck. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look so cool. Here we go, wow, I like it. I hope she could look this way. Wow, that looks so dope. I think there is another possible beautiful shot right here. Uh, so guys, I'm gonna explain to you what's the problem of me using the screen versus using the, the visor. So the difference between using the visor and using the screen is that if I use the screen like so, and if I press the button to try to get these people on focus and then if they move, the focus is gonna stay in the original position. It's not, it's not gonna keep tracking the the, the object or the person that is moving now if I use the visor instead of the screen then if I use the visor and if I press the button to uh, get the object or the person in focus then the the focus is gonna keep tracking the object or the person even if the person or the object is moving I don't know if that makes makes sense but that's mainly the reason why I sometimes use the visor like in this case, for example, they are moving. I go ahead and press the button. I keep it pressed until I'm ready to take the photo. And then I press it one more time and boom, I take the photo and he is still in focus. Uh, and when I'm using the screen, I cannot do that. So that's the reason why I sometimes use this, the, the screen and sometimes I use the, the visor. I mean, like I said, it's, it's a very basic camera that I'm using. And it's very complicated, at least when it comes to focus, because it's not the it's not the great the greatest system for focus. So yes, it, it is very complicated, guys. Uh, one day, I'm pretty sure one day I will have a better camera. But in the meantime, we're just gonna keep working with what we have and trying to get the best shots possible. There we go. Let's try to take one more here. There we go. So as always, just pretending that I am not taking photos of the people that I just took photos of. <laughs> so they are really not doing anything cool. So I'm gonna try to take a photo of something else. How about the food trucks?
this is the one that I'm gonna be using. Now let's keep walking and see what we can get out of the 50 mil. I am not sure if it's the best uh, lens for street photography because I am not able to get closer to the objects. So that's why I always use, or at least most of the times, that's why I use the um, 75 to 300 mil because I am able to get closer to the objects. And when it comes to buildings and stuff like that, I always like to be able to get closer closer to the object um but i'm pretty sure i'm also able to get some pretty cool results out of the 50 mil so let's see what we can get all right but there are some skaters here so maybe we can get some cool shots <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't think I would get that shot but I actually made it. Nailed it. I think I'm gonna switch again back to the 75 to 300. I do love this lens, but like I said, what I don't like about this lens is that I have to be like so close to the object and I am not able to uh, get closer to the object. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna switch back again to the previous lens. Here we go. So now I feel more comfortable using this lens because I, I know even, even if I am like so far away from the object, I am able to get closer with this lens. And even though it is not the greatest, actually the 50 mil is better than this one by far. But only due to the fact that I am able to get closer to the objects with this lens, I am always fascinated with this lens. And like I said before guys, uh, lately I've been into the this stuff of the architecture photography and the building photography, uh, symmetry and stuff like that. So that's why I always like this lens because with the other one, of course I am not able to get shots such as the one that you guys just saw uh, let me try to get another this, another one for that building right there there we go looks so cool i like it see that that's what i'm into right now that's what i'm looking for exactly like kind of the places where I like to take photos where they're like guiding lines and perspective so you guys are gonna see a lot of this type of photos and I know it's very simple and you guys might be like saying that it's not interesting at all but I that's what I'm into I like it Let me see if I can get a like a motorcycle or a car right there in the middle. <laughs> I almost got the car. I think that was like a Ferrari or something. I didn't re I didn't even see what, what kind of car was it. I think it was actually a Porsche. Let me see if I can still get a photo of it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Almost. I mean, I don't like it, but almost.
I'm gonna try to do it one more time, but I'm gonna go this way and maybe I can get a different and better perspective over here. I think I got it this time. This could be a great shot actually. Let me let me try to take one right here. Yeah, it looks so cool. I like the symmetry of this picture. I'm gonna take one in horizontal. Actually, if I move a little bit more this way. This is another beautiful symmetry shot, exactly like the ones that I like. And you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about in three, two, one. Check it out. That is exactly what I like. And I mean, if you just look this way, it looks so simple. Like there is really nothing interesting if you look up there, but once you take the photo and once you free, exactly the the, the 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 part that you want to get it looks so different it looks amazing that's that's what i like of this type of photography because there's a lot of lines there a lot of windows that you can get perfectly framed i mean i don't know i just like it a lot that's why i was that's why i like to take those type of pictures okay guys so basically i was not able to keep recording because my gopro died and also because it started to rain so i was not able to continue with the video until now i went to get something to eat and while i was eating i charged my gopro and that's why i'm able to record right now so um that's it for today guys hopefully i can keep doing this in the next couple of weeks uh well the plan is to keep uploading videos every single week uh but i'm not sure i mean who knows i i do hope that i can keep doing this and like i said i do appreciate you guys being here if you like this type of videos please consider subscribing and hit the like button because that is going to help me a lot uh hopefully it's not gonna keep raining um i do have the protector for my backpack so nothing is gonna get wet and uh, my jacket is also waterproof but anyway i don't want to keep walking under the rain it is raining right now a little bit but it's not that much so okay i'm gonna stop talking and once again thank you very much for being here and hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys next time peace